What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to Hitman 2 and the campaign mode. We're moving on to the next mission now in Mumbai, chasing a ghost. This should be interesting because there's going to be a ton of people here. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hope you're enjoying this Let's Play thus far. And if you are, do me a favor, hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Without any further ado, guys, let's jump into the next mission for Hitman 2. Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Kale slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown. But we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shaw, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> we got ourselves only two targets this time. Well, kind of like normal. So... Obviously, we're going to spawn... Obviously, here's the challenge. There's tons of assassinations. But the mission stories, there's usually seven. Yeah, it looks like there's seven here as well. So, guys, we're going to spawn it again and get this thing started. I'm looking forward to it, though. Obviously. Imperial... Everything will be left alone, I'm guessing. Unless we don't... You know what? We don't need it. We don't need a concealed weapon. I don't want to get... I don't want to get looted or whatever. You know, investigated. All right, let's do it. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. All right, guys, <clears throat> we're looking good. So first things up, we're going to go ahead and select one of these bad boys. A close shave, that seems to be the the current one. So let's see what happens. I'm guessing homeboys take, like, doing exactly what we think. And we're going to accidentally, like, cut his throat or something. Hi, right, my friends, how you guys doing? Uh-oh, there's a guard over there. Let's go around back. Yep, that's exactly what I am. This is one of the Mumbai chores. My records show a few residential complaints about a new tenant in the building. Something related to strange behavior. Interesting. Be could be... Could be an ad, like an opportunity. Our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. Infiltrate the Crows hideout. So that's still a mission. Oh, I get it. Signal me at once when the shop is open. That is why. 
Any idea why the boss wants to know when the barber shop is open again? Yeah. Saga the barber. There's a side business to keep the information. He basically has every snitch in the slums sharing the news with him. Boss wants him on our side. Barbie even came down to the hideout to be shown a picture of the boss so he'd recognize him when meeting him. Yeah, all this secrecy is so Let's This do barber it. is tangled up in some shady business, 47. But even more interesting, he may have seen a picture of the Maelstrom in the hideout of the street gang known as the Crows. That picture would be very helpful to our cause. Copy that. So that this is one of those missions where we have to... Uh... I honestly don't understand what he means. The 47. The street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. So that's why those guys were like, what the hell? So that guy had a, like, I've got to get up there. How do I get up there? Is there a way? Yeah, hey. Hi. Oh, no. Got a hurl. Oh, oh. Wow, really, bro? Are you okay? Oh, there's a ladder here. Jesus, who was that? Good lord, that was a close call. So there's that added difficulty. Alright, right here, let's go. Locate the crow's hideout. So this is for the maelstrom. Maels oh shit. Hope he doesn't spot me. There's the stairs I need to go. I see another set. Wait for this guy. You know that guy from the block who got a professional contract but then got killed? Nice. Here's a ladder. Holy hell. So am I actually in the hideout anymore? Or did I just walk out of it? I think I just walked out of it. I'm going down this way. So we have to way, go way down in the basement. Well, have you showed that picture to the barber? Yeah. He was literally Shh. about to shit himself when we brought him down. Damn. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. Okay, let's be very cautious here. Can we dress as him or we're simply getting the picture? I think this is one of the opportunities. They count towards, um... What's this? This is the third time you're asking me this question. What's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with you, okay? I just want to make sure I don't mess up when the boss asks me to do something. Jeez, relax. Yes, you grab the powder. Into the furnace, lots of smoke goes up. Whatever happens after that isn't your concern. Okay, good. I wonder what does happen after the smoke goes up. Not your concern. Fine. Yeah, hey, go and find out what that was. Okay. Oh, that works. Dude, that's fantastic. Sorry, fellas.
Dude, I didn't even think that would knock them both out, but it did. I might actually disguise myself as an elite thug because the thing is, one of the opportunities is just going to end up disappearing anyway, right? There you go. Might help. Although I don't look Indian in the slightest. Where's this? Okay, I'm going to actually hide this. I love how that actually just knocked him out. There's a hideout key. Excellent. I don't even know what's in here. Colored smoke. That could have something to do with it, man. Remember? What's next to it? Must be ammo of some sort. All right, anyways. Everybody can make an honest mistake. Oh, good. It doesn't mean I don't love you all. A photograph and a note addressed to Sagar the Barber. This looks like a very recent picture of the Maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. You could also investigate the barber shop and see what is going on there. All right, let's let's keep going with this. So this is a lot like uh, what should I call it? These guys don't know any better. Good. Excuse me, fellas. Uh, what do you call it? That one mission, like Sapienza. That man there, he resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. I'm right next to him. I'm right next to him. Hmm. No, that's not him. Okay. Let me just go check out the barber, though. What are you doing? You need to open the shop. There are people waiting outside already. I, I, I can't remember what he looks like. The guy the crows wanted me to provide information to, you know, their boss. They showed me his picture in their hideout two days ago. But I was so stressed out. I thought they were going to kill me or something. I can't remember his face. What if he shows up and, and, I, and I miss him? Then you should go and explain it to them. They probably still have the picture there. But what if they hurt me? What will happen to you? Or if they decide to burn down the shop like they did with that other guy with the metal recycling? I won't do it. But you had to go and earn some easy money sharing information with the gangs. This is your mess. You fix it. I love how I'm just hanging around. Where's she sitting? Can I get her out of here somewhere? Somehow? Am I trespassing now? got to be some sort of form of distraction. Oh, the barber razor, bro. I guarantee you'll be able to slit someone's throat. Oh, you can open it. I see. All right. Oh, hold on. I'm going to get rid of her. Probably a good thing that I don't, that I have this outfit on. There you go. Grab her. Sorry, lady. I just don't trust that when I, when I change into the Barbara, she's going to know I'm not her husband. Like, come on, man. So I figured I'd get rid of her. Now I'm free to get rid of him. Sad it. Good. Thing is, I'm not going to look Indian, though. That's the problem here. Like, at all. Like, that's what I, I, I think is the biggest flaw when you put, like, 47 in these types of situations. Like, what happened to the barber? I am the barber. Well, what happened to... I cut it off, and it was a tan. 
It was a tan, I swear. All right, 47. We're open for business. We know what the Maelstrom looks like and expect him to show up. Patience and shaving cream is what's on the menu now, 47. Copy no that. Luck. So I have to start shaving each customer. It's not going to be the first couple guys. Watch. Oh my god, look at the beard on that man. Has anyone seen Barbara Saga? I have a job interview today. Jeez, legend. You're not cutting that, are you? No, that wasn't him. Dude, you must be psycho if you're going to shave that beard. It's absolutely phenomenal. Good job. Like, it's insane. I can't get over that. I mean, the haircut. I would cut the hair, personally, but... Yes, you can. Sorry, I didn't know I had to go here. Come on in, sir. Ah, yes, please. Wonderful. You need it. I mean, I didn't realize that. I'm sorry. I thought they were just coming in. And I guarantee you I could slit the guy's throat. That lady's going to have a... say that I have. Well, my sister's husband's nephew works in the laundry district, and he told me that apparently the tailors have gone missing in Mumbai over the past few weeks. Really spooky. Is that right? I'm telling you the truth here. A few bodies have been found near the train yard, and one in the harbor. Someone seems to be killing all the tailors. Jeez, I am happy I'm in electronics. Very interesting. I'll just finish it. That's it. You're done. One smooth shave right there. Alright. He could have been that other guy. Have a job. Thanks so much. You are welcome. <laughs> Those are just distractionary coins. I love it. No luck. What about that guy? Is that him? No luck. No. I want to shave. How do you now? Hold up. Where is that guy? I don't have to do anything. You guys are well trimmed. You're fine. You don't need nothing. Oh, what about you? Is that him? He's got a seven. That man by the counter. That's him. That's the mail shop's open, well, sir. Looks like our patience paid mind. off. How about you invite him in for a close shave? Oh, it's going to be very close. Yes. Gonna right. slit your throat. Make it a close one. Oh, as close as you get. The tides are changing, my friend. Can you feel it in the air? My bones are creaking with joy at the prospect of what is about to happen. I don't feel anything, I'm afraid. You will, friend. You have an important task ahead of you, have you not? I sense that about you. Together, we will all release the shackles that have bound us far too long and rise up against those who seek to keep us down. Whether those are our friends, a day of reckoning is coming, is it not? It does seem unavoidable. Indeed. The question you must ask yourself when the time comes is what side you choose to be on. But that is not for now. For now, focus on your business and what you do, best friend. 
that is all. I will do that. Yeah. Savagery. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Let's finish this one. Can I move him? No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. There we go. She's going to have a nasty surprise when she wakes up. That's So there were three, three people to kill. Alright, so these ones don't take as long just because of that. Alright, what do we got next? So this other opportunity here, fl Flames Rekindled, is for him as well. Alright, that's done. Moving on to Address to Die For. Unless it's too far, we'll find out in a minute. Actually, it's very close. Perfect. Sorry, fellas, I'm closed. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? What's going on here? Oh, we gotta wait on this guy, right? Hi. Kushmilaka, did you have any luck? No, that tailor is impossible. I explained to his employee that Miss Shah wants to meet with him, but he claimed that the tailor wasn't available. So you didn't just go inside and look? Only the royal guard can do stuff like that. I'm sure Miss Shah will send someone with more hands-on experience than me. He's the only tailor in town that can make that damn dress. That's what happens when you drown. It appears Vanya Shaw is in the market for a dress fit for a queen. She's sent after a local tailor, but for some reason the man refuses to cooperate. A man of your impeccable taste should be able to fill in perfectly for the tailor. I'll say. This is going to be excellent. All right. <clears throat> can I have a word with him? Hi. Oh, there's got to be a way in. Let's go around the back. Hi. You there. Sir, please. One moment. You look like a discerning gentleman. We have the finest wares in here. Best cloth, finest cuts, dresses in all sizes. Come in and have a look. Perhaps something for your wife. Yes. Best dealer in India. All right, I'm coming. Oh, Vikram. What are you going to do? Listen, I, I have to go out for a while. If anyone asks for me, I gotta follow him. Let's got, I gotta get him to a spot where he's all alone. This mission kind of reminds me, like the style reminds me of Metacash in it, the first chapter. This is Vikram. I'm calling to let you know that I'll be going on an extended vacation. Should I report inquiries to my assistant? Go! Quick, 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 quick! Sorry, my man. Hopefully no one needs to go in here. Excellent. Let's find out what kind of dress a woman like Vanya Shah wants. Oh shit, close the door! Oh, hi, buddy. Didn't I just shape? What happened? Okay. That guy's beard came back. God. I wish my beard grew that fast. Cerulean cloth. I don't know what that does. Almost got spotted. These guys know that I'm not... Let me see. Can I go up the stairs? I can. There's stairs here, right? I mean, obviously, I'm not the... <laughs> I'm gonna need that cloth. How am I supposed to get up there without alerting anybody? Is there any normal here? I'm gonna have to go through the shop. It's the only way. No, wait a minute. No, I don't. Let's do this. Up these steps. I'm the whitest dude in the planet. Excellent. So it's not where I thought it was. It's not on the roof. We get the coins. Shaw wants a cerulean dress. Yep, and I walked right by Perhaps it too. You will be able to source a roll of the right fabric at the local cloth market. Measuring tape. We're gonna need that for later. I'm thinking when we're measuring her, for her dimensions. I wonder how we can do it. Maybe with the or choke her out with the cloth with the tape measure. Wouldn't that be awesome? 
Alright, let me see. Evening, sir. Can I interest you in my fine wares? Cheap, durable cloth in... How much of these? Ah, my friend, you have chosen well. Now, we have the best prices here. What do you say to 140 rupees per running rate? Does that sound fair? <laughs> no? <laughs> it's a deal. Ah, good, good. Take any of the bundles, please. Just one. Though. I'll take blue. It's great. Thank you. Come it's going to be a blue dress. So we get to decide what kind of, what kind of, you know. Wait a minute, let me see something. Doesn't matter? Let me see, it said make it work, one second. Challenges, right? Oh, acquire the correct cloth sample. I wonder if that's, if it had to be blue. So if you picked red or something. Well, let me look at the let me let me look at the mission. Uh, the, sorry, the uh, the approaches, right? The stories. My bad. See how it is blue? So if I'd picked something else, it would have been incorrect. That's awesome. Now what? Okay, we'll talk to this guy. Here we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Ah, it's you. Did you bring? The yes, I have it right here. About bloody time. Come with me. Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search you. Not to. I'm afraid your honest look isn't going to cut it here. <laughs> Fair enough, my friend. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. <laughs> now, let's see if you've brought me something interesting today. Good to see you. Go on ahead. Thank you. Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. That is a good idea. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. She can be rather dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it for you. I know. Well, this place is really quite the... Uh... Wow, this is beautiful. That is Vanya Shah, clearly self-appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. That's pretty messed up. Well, the whole city suffers under the water shortage. Your husband is dead, is he not? Yes, he is. Two years now. And your children are already working elsewhere in the city. Yes, but you have nothing to offer me then, Mrs. Banerjee. I'm sorry, but water and power are precious assets here. I barely have enough for my own needs. You will have to make do with what you have. I understand. Thank you, my queen. That's terrible. Ah, the elusive dealer. Here at Let's have a look at the cloth. I wonder if it's incorrect. If like you do it, if you have the incorrect one, what's the difference? I want to make sure the color is the right one. Yes, of course. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. Smart work, 47. Shah will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. I'll leave the final Hello. execution up to you. A dress to die for. All right, well, that story's done. So if I'd chosen the wrong one, I'd probably have to do a different, a whole different step. There's got to be something fun that I could do to her. Oh yeah, choke her out, right? Oh, there's some more measuring tape. Copy that. Okay. Can I actually like blend in to measure her? Oh, wait, yeah, let's do it. Sorry. Here we go. Okay, madam. Relax your back, please, Miss Shaw. Okay. Good. I'll just measure your arms now. Ms. And your, and then your throat. Watch. That lady's got to bounce. Turn around, please, Miss Shaw. She's got to leave. need to measure shoulder to shoulder. Probably heard about the other tailors. Damn it, the servants. Some of the men. Uh, 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 
Dude, it's impossible. Confirmed kill on Vanya. See, that's not fair at all, man. Like, she's in there. You know, I'm not. I'm not too upset. There are other ways, but that was awesome. So I was supposed to somehow get rid of that other girl without her noticing me. I don't know how she would have been. Diary. Secret grudge. All right. Well, I kind of want to look at that. Um, which is it? Hold on. Her diary, isn't it? Must have missed it. Anyway, uh, next mission story. So now we kind of know that's for her. So there's, okay, so the two, gotcha. So the, okay, we're off to a good start then. So the ones that require three are the last guy. So as long as we assassinate the last guy, like we'll save it right before we do the second to last one of these and then we can just redo the other one. You know what I'm saying? Cool. So let's see what Broad Strokes has got for us. Which one's the closest? Broad Strokes... Gone with the wind. That's pretty far. Or picture perfect. Uh, the closest one is the third one up. Excellent. Let's see what we can get done here. All right, so we got to get up to that top section there. Question is how? Is there a stairwell? That's really high. Excuse me, madam. There's a stairwell there. We'll see if it goes up to the top. Looks like it. Oh, here we go. Never get that scope adjusted with this horrible viewfinder. What I would give for a world class sniper rifle right now. Well, well. It appears we have a rival assassin in Mumbai. Damn. And he's training his sights on Darwood Rangan. By the looks of it, I'd say we're dealing with a local operator known as the Kashmirian. A local hitman known as the Kashmirian is in Mumbai on business. He set up a sniper nest in a tower above a stairwell in the local Chool. It appears he's targeting the luxury apartment belonging to Darwood Rangan, but has encountered a problem. Perhaps you can assist him. Copy that. I gotta take him down. Maybe I don't. Damn it. If I don't get this viewfinder working, I will miss the shot for sure. Good thinking, 47. Now, if we could only make Rangan appear in that window somehow. So we're going to make him do the Karen job? Dahl, a.k.a. the Kashmirian, was born in the U.S., but fled to his mother's native land, India, 20 years ago, following an FBI investigation into a string of serial killings in Texas. He adopted a new identity here and now works as a gun for hire for local mobsters. But who would want Rangan dead? That's interesting, guys. So we... So we're going to assist, we're actually helping him. I thought maybe we were going to take the, I mean, we could probably take him out and take the kill for ourselves. Hopefully no one's watching me when I go in here. Good job, man. I kind of want a guard costume. Dude, I'm really liking this level so far. All right, let's go. Oh, the security camera. Crap. I was going to get that one, but... 
Uh, you know what I, I actually want to do? Hold up, let's see. This is supposed to be a luxury apartment. Do I have any key cards? No. What if I can get this guy out of here? Because there's like security tapes. Which, ironically, I haven't actually been seen on yet. Man, there's a lot of guys in here. What about the, uh... Elevator shaft seems stealthier. What level is he on? That level. But perhaps we can keep going. Maybe there's something else. Maybe there's a better way to get to him. Oh, he is on that level. Okay, so I have, they want me on this one. There's a way out here. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna need to dress as the artist, aren't I? Is that a closet over there? Yeah, so I gotta go in and take him down. Yeah, well, get a move on. Mr. Rongan wants you to go and get him as soon as you're done mixing your fancy colors there. You got it? Fine. Alright, I need that guy to peace out. If I don't finish it, Rongan will kill me. If I do, the artistic community will be dead to me. Go quick. Quick, this has got to be done fast. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Give me that. All right, this is this guy knows, so I think I might take him out. Hold up, it's being a butthole. Okay. Just in case. We might have a possible disturbance. I'm moving to investigate. I don't like the generic voices, you know what I mean? Like that. Excellent. That gun is gonna cause a problem, so I'm gonna have to hide it. But yeah, that guy knew exactly what he looks like, so. That's why I did that. I don't think the rest of them do, though. I think it's just oh, a couple of them seem to. I'll just hide this. All right, let's go get him. It's up a level. Watch for the cameras. But here's the problem. Since I've done that to his body... Doing well? Hi. You need to pay. How did you get in here? Sorry, sorry. You're trespassing. Stop. My bad. I'm gonna hide this. I don't want this. I thought I was supposed to get him. Oh, why? My bad. Wrong floor. Wait a minute. What am I doing? This is where I need to be, isn't it? Wait, maybe I could. Nope. I honestly don't understand. Wait, what's that? Like, what is up with that? Why is that there? Well, I have an idea. What is that? Who heard that?
The missing script. What is that? Has made some last minute changes to a script. A scene has been added where the character Mumbai, played by Kiss the Film's hero, played by Rangit himself. Of course. Alright, anyway, I gotta. I don't know how to get to him. That's the thing. Whoa. Go now. I don't know what floor he's on. I gotta go to his office, though, so it must be accessible to me. It has to be accessible to me. So I'm gonna go back up to the second floor. Although it seems like the third floor is the one I need to be on. But then this is nothing here. See, so yeah, it doesn't make sense. Let's go back down. Maybe head over to the east side. That could be it. Oh, I get it. Okay, that makes much more sense. Hello. S Saber, huh? That's awesome. Go on upstairs and wait for Mr. Rangan. I'm sure he'll be there shortly. He's right there already. It's me. He was just here. Oh, he's up there right now. I'll sit down. Wait. Oh, Bollywood crew. Ah, Mr. Hussain, ready at last. Look at that. There's all three of them. So you could get rid of. So you could take him out first. After you, Mr. Rankin. Is that all of them? Like, actually, wow. Mr. That is Darwood Rankin. Producer of mediocre movies and a full-time criminal. His brutality is overshadowed only by his giant ego. It's a nice place he's got here. It's still under construction, though, from the looks of things. Ah, beautiful. Looking good. Magnificent use of colors and form. Kya baat hai. If the new piece catches my forceful nature like this, I will have nothing short of a masterpiece on my hands. I'll be the envy of everyone. I guarantee a perfect execution, Mr. Rankin. <laughs> I love how sinister he speaks. All right. Chala, let's get this done with. I don't think I have I to do anything. To be the final brush strokes, All Mr. right, 47. You know, let's see if the aim of our Kashmirian friend is true. That's fantastic. It's gonna oh, it's gonna be it's gonna shoot him in the uh, into the painting, so it's gonna be like blood red. I can't wait. Hold your breath for a moment, Mr. Rangan. That's the reason I told you I wouldn't pay for the commission. By the way, I'm not stingy. No, no, not at all. But if I'm already paying you in exposure, well, let's not overdo it. You know. That's actually pretty good. Overexposure. Clench your fist, please. Who doesn't? But sometimes, exposure can be worth more than just money. Because in this case, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Just wait and see. Take when the shot, man. man. This job, the contracts will be rolling in. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Rangan. He's going for it. Can you look up a bit? Thank oh! You. That shot came from the tools. It looks like the Kashmirian finally got a clear line of fire. Darwood Rangan is dead. And not even by your hand, 47. What will you think of next? That's savagery. Completed. Time to find an exit. Let's get out of here. Is there any way for us to get down from here? Actually, there's a couple ways for us to get out. There's a ladder there. That's where we're coming down. That's perfect. Dude, that was awesome, man. So again, I'll bet you there is a uh, a mission or an objective that's like where you could take the shot yourself. That's probably how you get Sniper Assassin.
Dude, that is too sweet. Too sweet. They found his body. The thing is, I had nowhere to put it. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, I had to take out that one dude. I'm honestly, I'm certain though. No, it probably wasn't a good idea. I don't really know where I would have put it. Let's just get the hell out of here. You know, the movie's based on the The truck? Oh, the tuk tuk. The tuk tuk. <laughs> it's the best way to exit Mumbai. Hell yeah. I love it. Excellent, man. That was fun. Pirate Hunter. Let's get the tuck out of here. Because <laughs> you had to have coins for it, right? The barber shop. How do we do? We got four stars despite the bodies being found. Level 47. Haha. <laughs> it's the level everyone strives to be. Alright, guys. Now we gotta replant it and do the three others. And then right before we kill, kill Rangan again, we try that other one. So this will be the next one. We reload and we do it again. It'll be excellent. Okay, so we're gonna start off our next assassination story mission story here. We've got that one done. I think this one here, the laundry, this one is for her as well. And I believe this one is for that first guy. So I'm actually going to start with Flames Rekindled. Because we have to actually still locate. Um, wait, was that the one? I'm pretty sure. Hold on, let me double check. Because these two were both for uh, the last guy. Uh, Rangan. And yeah, this other one, the laundry, is for the girl. So I want to do these two last so i think one of these two will be done last and uh yeah so we're gonna head up and do flames of kindle i swear to god that it'll just keep the order in nice it's a bit of a ways but everything is at least within like 200 meters or so despite mumbai being a massive city 47 the street gang known as the crows are on high alert they seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. Copy that. That's why I went around the long way. So he doesn't see me. 47. Our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. So this one is, sp is supposed to take out that guy as well. What I should have done was bring a, uh, a lockpick. Sorry, my man. I just need to hide these guys. That's what I need to do. Wait a minute. Alright, well that's one way in. Hopefully no one finds them here. Well, hold on. This is for the maelstrom, so I'm going to actually go go out that way. Hopefully this gu this thug disguise will let me through. But that is my home. You can't do this. Hey, it's only for a little while. Stop being so dramatic, all right? Dramatic? Listen. Hopefully that'll do it. It's on the lookout. All right, I'm up on the level now, finally. I told him and I told you, I can take 
care of myself. You scare me, neighbors. Madam, you understand? Just following orders. Boss told us to evacuate everyone and stick around until after the meeting. That's what we are doing. So you have talked to him. Nobody talks to the boss. He left a message. When are you ready for us to give the signal? The boss. He's still up to his old tricks, isn't he? I'll be ready soon. Give me some time. Fine. Just tell the guys upstairs when they'll raise the flag and summon him. Okay. Hi. Have a great day. Oh, thanks. You too. Oh, there's rat poison. Maybe I could take care of her. Does she, does she have a drink handy? No. I don't know if I even need her. And go. Hmm. A letter signed Wazir. This house once belonged to the Maelstrom 47. This confirms a connection between him and the woman living here now. I know we're supposed to raise the flag when this Neha lady tells us, but how is he going to see it from the slums? I don't know. Should I take her down? Maybe I should take her down just so that she doesn't. Sorry, madam. I just can't have you raising a flag. How about this guy? I can't grab him through there. That's fine. I'll go raise the flag. He'll investigate it, so that'll draw him out. And these guys don't know it's me. You don't want to test my patience. No, man. Virtually non-existent. Because we don't know where he is. Forty-seven. Someone's coming up the stairs leading to the secured area. It looks like a man. See if you can get close to him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I already know what he looks like, though, and it's not him. Wait a minute. Let's wait it out. Can I please go in this way? Man, if only I had that damn thing. Should have brought it. It must be an important meeting. Boss doesn't really do these sort of things. Hold up. I'm going to go back around and go see him. I didn't need to get in there. What's up, friend? the maelstrom no it isn't him. dude that's not the maelstrom it's me Wazir. are you out back dude he looks totally different from the other guy we killed so what the hell then I wonder if I should have left her on or conscious. No, I don't think so. Maybe I could push him. Neha, right. Are you here? Move up, man. So I could put him in there. Neha. Oh, 
Oh, it is the same guy, isn't it? It is. Not exactly ideal, but not bad. The he, he's got a, he's got shorter hair. Dead. That's the difference. Very well done, so he went to the barber. Let's finish this one. I was hoping it'd be more entertaining. No for the wicked, however. On to the next one. Anyway, next ability. I knew that one was that. So up next, we're gonna do the okay. The next mission story is going to be the laundry. A matter of discipline. Mumbai laundry. All right, so we gotta get off this property and into the history books. Whatever that means. All right, guys, am I allowed here? Sir, I'm afraid you don't have the right clearance. Sorry. There's got to be a way in there. I need a. The new foreman looks to be a dedicated worker. I'm very dangerous. Damn, man, I need I need a key. One of the guards told him that the slum queen wanted to talk to him. Guy that all great not stand. Oh, I see. He didn't know she had taken over the business. I don't think so. Go. The guard also told him what happened previously. Nice. I gotta disguise myself as one, don't I? I haven't met the new foreman yet. Is he better than the last one? Patani, yeah. He's still in the office. I know Vishra is supposed to meet with him on the bridge and talk about how to make you lazy workers do more. But so far, he hasn't come out. Who are you calling lazy? I... Hmm. Vanya Shah is eager to meet the new foreman of the Mumbai laundry business. However, the foreman has taken refuge in his office, unwilling to meet with her at this time. You might be able to use this to your advantage, 47. Copy that. All right, where is the office? I know where it is, but I, I, I got to get... I'm going to need that clown. Maybe not. Oh, come on, man. You didn't see me. Yep, do exactly what he said. Wow, man, I gotta get over to that side. Okay, let's keep moving. The yellow skywalk. Go. I'm in the wrong outfit. That's the man. But that guy. Tell you what, let's do this. Is there a bin to hide any of these guys in? No, but. Hmm. Turn off the. Oh, man, I gotta find a place to hide him. Because if I take out a guy. It's gotta be a laundry shooter. Oh, wait, what's that? Outfit. Metal worker. But I'm still trespassing. So how did he track that? I can't see any of his old files here. I don't know where they might be. All right. How about the That's what we'll do. How do you guys keep track of how many orders you go through in a day? The old foreman did all that. I think he kept most of it in his head, actually. That was one of the things Miss Shah didn't really like. That and the fact that he would give us breaks. She doesn't like giving breaks? Hates it. I see. Thank you. That guy needs to go in there. I'm gonna turn off the light. I don't know where the papers are. If I could just find them, it would make my life a lot easier. Oh, dude, that's ideal. He's the one checking it out? But where's the place to hide his body? There's gotta be a place up here. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. I have an idea. Uh, I'm sure you need proper training to do this. What? No, flipping a switch? Thank you. Here's what's gonna happen. Okay. I'm gonna leave him there. 
I'm gonna go down this way. I'm gonna choke this guy out. Put him in the bin and bring the other guy downstairs to hide him up. I'll switch to his outfit just to get it. So now I'm not trespassing. Because this guy was... The reason I didn't left the other guy up there was... I And I didn't switch is because I knew that guy was going to have a problem with me being there. So we're going to switch to him. The foreman. And I'm going to hide him just in case. So you never know who's going to come snooping around. You're going to wake up in a room with your bro and you'll be like, what the hell? Just better, you know, I'm just covering my bases here. Office key. Missing laundry business docs. Oh, I could poison. Ah, see, he, I saw him take a drink from that, so I could have put the emetic poison in that too. That would have been an option. Couple of ways. All right, where am I going? Over there. So let's leave. Oh, there's the stairs. I'm hoping that these guys don't recognize the fact that I'm not a food vendor. Should I change and then change back just to unlock it? There you go. Switch back. Letter opener. Okay, I wasn't sure. Good. So this was another way for us to get in as well. That's true. Annoyingly, I didn't... Mm. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but could you please get the F out? <laughs> there you go. That'll be open from now on. Hi. I'm ready for my meeting with Miss Shah now. This white guy? Shah has been waiting for this all day. <laughs> the foreman's ready to meet up with Miss Shah on the bridge. We're heading there now. That's so funny. Follow me to the bridge. The way she suddenly went to bed and took Hello, Get there, on. You're not on a break. Uh, oh, Shane! So Work faster. Tired. Oh, there's a Queen's Guard disguise right there. Where? Oh, right there on the ground. Makes sense that it's in the laundry. But he's a Queen's Guard, so... He would obviously know. He's like, wait a minute. Weren't you the white guy who's the foreman of this establishment? Yep. Aja, it's just through here. Miss Shah will be along soon. Copy that. You shit together if you don't want to end up like the old foreman. Samja. So, that's the new guy, huh? How long is he going to last, you think? A week? Depends on what the queen decides to do with him, I guess. He looks tough enough. Might last a week in the pits. Maybe even two. Maybe he's been working really hard on that report of his. Maybe she'll actually keep him on. I can't imagine that. He's been hiding inside that little office of his all day, afraid to come out. I don't think he has what it takes. We'll see then. I, I hope I get to push her in some sort of sorting pit. Uh, the new foreman finally graces us with his ah. presence. What do you have to report? Well done, 47. You've managed to lure Vani Shaw out into the open. Anything could happen here. Tell me more. Well, the objective is find the root of the problem, work to get close to it, and then eradicate it. I like your thinking. How would you approach the task you see before you? My usual method is prepare intensely, study the problem, learn everything I can, analyze all approaches. The idea is to gently nudge people to do what I want. And then, once the objective is in my sights, perfect execution. Not afraid to spill some blood in the process? Not at all. In fact, I find that happens quite often. I like you, fool. I think this could be the beginning of a very fruitful relationship. I aim to please, Miss Shah. Well, I don't want to kill her now. 
think I don't see you down there, little ants? Scurrying about at your own pace? Taking unnecessary breaks? Drinking my water? Wasting my money? I just don't know about this one. Up until now. Like, I'll be... I'll, everyone's gonna know I did it. This rebellious behavior. The days of slacking are over. Let's see what happens. I could have pushed her there. What about now? Bye bye. Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Oh my God. Work, Goodbye. That was Just perfect. Left. Let's bring this she fell into the dirt water, didn't she? That's savagery. That's a fitting end, I'd say. Excellent. So I can disguise the Queen's Guard, but people are going to see it, so I'm just going to leave. Just going to leave. Let's target the next one. Dawoon, we have two more missions to go. Uh, like I said, so Gone with the Wind. What I'm actually going to do is save it. Well, actually, let's see which one's closer. Let's see which one's closer. That's a 182. Sorry. And the other one is a 121. We'll do that first. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this place. And we're going to save on a fresh save. And then we'll split the two. That was awesome. I get, like, there was so many people around. She just, like, whoop, fell down. Didn't even notice. The thing is, she wouldn't have died, though, from that height. Let's be honest. Like, she wouldn't have died. Anyways, let's bounce. Excuse me, sir. This is a fun mission. I do like it. At first, it seems a lot very intimidating, but it's going a lot this smoother than other ones. Mumbai trolls. My records show a few residential complaints about a new tenant in the building. Something related to strange behavior. Yeah, that was the assassin. Might be worth looking into. Wasn't it? Hey, excuse me. You know who Gregory Arthur is, right? The famous American actor? Have you seen him around the city? No? Please tell him to come see me if you do. He's got a photo shoot inside the tower, and Mr. Rungan does not like to wait around. All right, that could Gregory be good. Gregory Arthur, a famous Broadway star, is apparently late for a photo shoot inside Rangan's unfinished tenement tower. Hang on. He uploaded a selfie on social media about half an hour ago. Hmm. The Mumbai food district. He's likely still there, 47. So the one white guy that's actually here... Actually, we don't know if he's white. I'm guessing he's white. Where it would actually make sense to be disguised as him. But it's not helping the fact that people think that all white people look alike. <laughs> You know, like one one skin group, you know, one color, you know, everyone think you know, you know the stereotype, right? I'm picking up Gregory Arthur's cell phone signal. He's close by. It's totally him, man. He looks like an idiot. I walked by him a couple times, I think. I recognize his wings. I wonder if he had some Red Bull. <laughs> oh god, that's garlic. I, I cannot stand oh. Why? What's wrong with the garlic? Actually, that's a great costume. The only difference is he's got... Actually, he doesn't seem white. He's got a bit of a... He's a bit... It's hard to tell. He seems awfully sensitive to, like, the foods here. But how am I supposed to get him on his own? Oh, why did I eat that curry from the street vendor? Why? I'm such an idiot. Gotta keep it in. No, no, more vomiting. Oh, sorry, buddy. Is he feeling sick? Oh, dude, I think he's gonna go throw up. This might be our chance. Oh, no. Here we go again. Find some place quick. Have a nice day. Gregory? Greg! I could push him. I'm not seeing a place to hide him, though. That's the problem. Damn it. There's, like, nowhere to hide his body. Oh, he's going. I don't know. I'm going to save it. I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to save it on, like, a, a fresh save that I've already used or that I don't need anymore. Anyway, uh, right here seems good. 
Because I, I don't know. I want to choke him out, but I need his outfit. I don't know where to put him. Why did you hear that? Damn! Wait, what? what? Why did that kill him? Wow, thanks, game. All I did was knock him out. Hopefully, no one will Delving find him. Straight down. into the heart of darkness, forty-seven. Good luck. No, I'm, I don't need to do that. I've already, I've already taken out the guy you want me to work on. Anyway, whatever. You know what? The guy's dead. Whatever happens. Interesting. Look, forty-seven. Well, Darwood that Rangan sucks. is at the tower expecting Mr. Arthur any minute now. No need to keep him waiting. I'm on my way. I guess it was glitched out, man, because that should have killed him. That was just a pacify maneuver. Okay, how do we get there? Oh, is there, oh there's got to be a front door they'll let us do. Back in his mansion, though, and then that'll leave one more. See, wait, what do I have on me? Just, I mean... Everything's good, so they won't care. As long as it's not a friskable. Hi. I'm not exactly enjoying this either, so just stay still and we'll be done soon. Okay, you're good to go. Danke schön. All right, I'm going to be caught on camera. I do know there's no way around that, I'm afraid. Well, yes, there is. Oh, wait, where do they want me? Oh, crap. Oh, damn. I wasted time, and that's what happened. So what? These guys... Am I not supposed to be here? I wish I could get that. Hi, fellas. You know, at one point I was thinking Hi. Because somebody told me I'm here. Excellent. Crazy. It means we can get on with it. Good. Good. I don't Smashing, baby. Ha. <laughs> I mean, those wings look pretty cool, I have to say. Well, well. Look who finally showed up. All Looks right. Like you had a rough night. So, I just wanted to say, I absolutely loved you in Blundering Frights. I thought it was a brilliant performance in a very funny horror comedy. Oh, thank you. You know, my brother directed it. I'll be sure to let him know you liked it. He didn't do very well, but... How's everyone? Ready for the photo shoot? I know I am, so let's do this. Alright, I don't know where my killing opportunity is. Let's all get into position Too suspicious. What the... Oh, there you go. So, Miss Hassan, I guess you're ready for another round of... Mumbai hero soon. I've got big plans for us. Hmm? Big plans. I'm sure you do. I think you will need to talk to my agent about that. Ah, agents. I never did like them. They go, I prefer the more direct approach. Acha. Well, I'm hopefully kicking off some It's kind of evidence that we've been there, though, so isn't it? My availability may be limited. I see. Well, I certainly hope nothing should happen that would prevent you from pursuing your goals. Miss Hassan. Great work. Now, if we could do a few shots of just Mr. Arthur and Miss Hassan, please. Arthur and Hassan? As if they're that important. I'd suggest we do another round of solo shots of the guy who gets first billing. Me. <laughs> if you say so, Mr. London. <laughs> I do, I do say so. Something uh, fall on him? Shoot. 
Oh, Gregory, stick it out. I want to talk to you when I'm done. Okay, good. There's your opportunity. Right, people, get off the stage. It's time for the big guy to do his magic. Excellent, 47. It looks like Rangan wants a private That's word. our chance. I suggest you humor the man. I will. Man, there's some... Look at that. You can probably drop the camera. There's the fan. There's that fan opportunity. So women really like this pose. And when I pull off this look, all housewives in a two-mile radius will faint automatically. You're a natural at this, Mr. Rangan. All right. I think that's enough beauty shots for one day. Great. That's a wrap then. Champagne for everyone. Great things will come from this movie, guys. Let me tell you, I've got a feeling that this one is the one that will make me famous. You know, it just goes to show that hard work and dedication is what is needed in this business, yeah. You know, I got the champagne from a movie business contact. You know, he was so impressed with the production of the film, he just insisted on sponsoring the party, yeah. Famous film director in America. Yeah, I might go there next week to talk about distribution deals for Mumbai Hero. Are you know, last year at the rap party for the Snake in the Mongoose? <laughs> snake in the Mongoose. A painting by Soham Hussain. Ha, huh? it's inside the apartment actually. A beautiful painting of a tiger. You know, I loved it so much, so much. Soham's now doing my portrait. He's a great artist. Great, great. God, this guy's driving me nuts. I hope everyone's in. Start editing in a couple of days, so it's not exactly over for me. Genius never rests, you know. <laughs> when do you want that private word, Mr. Rangan? You wanted to see me. Ah, Gregory. Yes, yes. Come with me upstairs. I have something important to talk to you about. Well, I'm curious. I'm intrigued. Is that a Gregory, security? Gregory, as you know. There's a lot at stake with a production like this. Hmm? Everyone needs to play ball. We are on the same team after all. But it's important to establish a pecking order. Hmm. Soon all of Mumbai will be mine. I'm sure you can imagine what that means. Okay, Gregory. I just need my friend here to pat you down. Copy that. I don't want any recording devices or things like that accidentally going off. Hmm? I'm sure you understand. If you want to pass through, I gotta pat you down. I don't have anything on me, so I checked before I came in. <sighs> Sir, I'm just doing my job. I gotta pat you down. I getcha. Sorry about that. And you are good to go, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Got none to hide. I don't need a weapon to kill you. <laughs> Let's count these hands. I'll bet you can push them down the elevator shaft. I just have that thought. We have most of the areas discovered. Oh, man. There's a lot of stuff to kill him with here. He's going to ask for privacy. I know it. That's usually what they do. They give you an opportunity to kill them undetected. Right, Here's the deal. And don't interrupt me, all right? I or hate being interrupted. You're a smart guy, I know that. Big deal back in America. But the thing is, I don't like you. Interesting. I don't like the way you dress, the way you behave yourself around the women on set, or the way you try to steal my thunder. I'm willing to overlook all of this, Gregory, because we can make great things together. However, and this is very important, if you ever try to take my place, if you ever think you can become bigger than Daud Rangan. You're in for a world of hurt. I will destroy you and your family. Your mother, your friends, your pets, anyone and everyone will die. Hmm? Do as I tell you. And I can make you more famous than you've ever dreamed of. Cross me, and you're dead. Understood? I think I understand. Excellent. In that case, we're done here.
Goodbye. Perfect. Let's hope he doesn't see me. Is there anywhere I could put him? I'll bet there was a nicer way of dealing with him. But honestly, I think this is just for the best. It's quiet. He dead. Darwood Rangan is confirmed killed. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. I'm gonna hide him as well. I might I might change into his uh his outfit though. Just in case. Just to get that, you know. As a collectible. Or not a collectible. There you go. They didn't like that. Alright, now we just gotta get to an exit and load up uh, the, the previous save and do the last one. Okay, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and do this Gone with the Wind one. It's the last one that we need to do. It's a little ways away, but we saw in the last opportunity that there was a giant fan uh, at the set. So I'm guessing he's gonna get blown off the top of that apartment or whatever. I can almost guarantee it. It's me. It is imperative to oh, here's our actor there throwing up. Let's hope this goes smoothly. I gotta say, this one, this like whole mission has taken a lot less time than the last one. Ah, okay, yeah, see, I, that's where I exited when I originally killed the guy. Hello. Okay, I gotta find a way in. Actually, I do know a way in. I gotta go through this way and hop on the boat. You're probably gonna have to disguise as a crew. I know. What are to do this opportunity would be a lot nicer just to uh, to spawn on the boat, but wait, I'm trespassing? Oh crap, my bad. All right, let's be stealthy here. I'm not the right crew. Go. Look, look left, bro. What are you doing? Look left. Now, why would anyone do a stupid thing like that? What is happening? Like he's. Okay, good. Finally. Good God. I was like, what are you, serious? Let's do this quickly. Again, it would be ideal if, uh... Just one scene to go and we're done. Looks like the fan has been set up again. Do you know why they haven't shot it yet? Karishma threw the last copy of the script into the elevator shop. He doesn't want to do the scene with Rangan. He still wants to do the kiss. Oh, are the nerve of this guy? Chutia, he's a creep. And Karishma... The production of Mumbai Hero is coming to a close, but it seems there's a spot of trouble. Lead actress Karisma Hassan has refused to do a kissing scene with Rangan and has got rid of the script by tossing it down an elevator shaft. Shame. The scene features the use of a large industrial wind machine. Could be worth investigating. I'm familiar with it. I actually already found that accidentally. Thing is, guys, I'm not going to be able to maneuver through here without... Uh, oh, wait, why do I have a brick open? Where's the ladder? I'm going to need an outfit. Because I know where it is. I got to get inside the house. Is there something I could throw? I mean, I guarantee you there's something you could, like, put something in somebody's drink. Oh, whoa, whoa. My bad. Is there any... Is it safe to do that, do you think? He heard that. Go. Wait. I just heard something strange. I better go find out what it is. Okay, go. If anyone is there, you're in a heap of trouble. Go. Nice. 
All right, let's go put him in that bin. Nobody see that? We're good. <laughs> don't ignore that guy. I mean, don't mind that guy. I gotta ask. This uh, this porta potty does not seem very practical. You can't close the door. Like, look at that. It's there's no room for standing. Oh, we got a camera here. Go. Go, go, go. I'm stuck. There we go. Whoa. Crap, man. I need to disguise myself as a Bollywood crew. Go. I need one of these guys. I mean, I need that guy, apparently. I need that script, too, don't I? There it is. See if I can get it. Nice. Because I know they said we needed it, right? I'll take the brick anyway. You never know if we're going to need it. Excellent. Please don't see me. Good. I need that guy. It's got to be him, too. There's a place to hide him. Oh, shit. My bad. Did you hear that? Damn it. Yes, he did hear it. Good. Go check, please. I heard tossing shit. Hmm. Please tell me no one's got it. Odd. No one see him. No one see him. No one see him. I know it wants me to take out the guy up top, but I think this is quieter. Crap. Good night. Thank you very much. Good. All right, does she know? No. Yeah, she does. Crap. Can I get up there without her seeing me? Mmm, damn it. Let's follow this. Maybe we can get through here. No, I'd rather not. Well, I didn't realize that was a way in. That would have been a lot nicer. Okay, now go. Go. This will work. If I can haul it. Am I even allowed up here? I actually don't think I'm allowed up here. Oh, yeah, I am. Just making sure who's not. Okay, that. We good? That lady over there. Hi. I found this. But the script? You found it. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Listen, the scene needs the fan to be running. Run over and manage, will you? Right before the scene starts, I'll signal to you to turn it on. All right, we got to overpower. I'll round up everyone. You got it. It's Good work, 47. Darwood is hurrying down now to act out the final scene with Hassan. Let's make sure he doesn't run out of wind. Great news, everyone. We have found the script. Get to your places. We are ready to shoot. All right, everybody. Mr. Rungan is on his way. We just need to get this one scene in the can, and then that is a wrap. Karishma, here's that last line that you kept missing. I'm yours forever, and now kiss me, hero. Right, right. So, um, what is my motivation? Like, why kiss him? He is a foul pirate. You love him. 
It is a pure, intimate love that has bloomed over the course of the weeks that you've spent in captivity. The evil witch queen had clouded your mind over those years, but after he set you free, you realize that he is your true love. Your hero. I don't... It sounds kind of unrealistic to me. <laughs> I mean, sure. He saved me and everything, and, and I understand why I would be grateful. But a kiss? Maybe just a firm handshake. Or a hug, even. Oh, you're full of love, Karishma. Mumbai has been rescued, set free. The pirate is not the evil person portrayed by the Witch Queen. Her attempts to kill him through the use of the assassin have been. All right, people. Time to get the show on the road. I'm here. My lips are ready for the final, most important shot of the film. Karishma, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever. Okay, the thing is, I don't want to kill her. I just got to kill him. So just in case, I'm actually going to save... Oh, it won't let me save it? Did it just save it? Well, that's lame. Forgot to save it. Nope. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Start the fan. It's a bit of wind blowing. How do you turn off the fan security system? Oh, I need a screwdriver. Crap, dude, are you serious? Like, here it is. There we go. That was easy enough. Her magic was powerful, but it's gone now. It's just you and me now. Why? If you will have me, I will protect you. Always. I'm yours forever. Now kiss me, hero. I'm sorry. I cannot do this. Can't. Karishma, come on. Can we talk? Please. Oh, fine. There we go. There's our chance. Get her off the set. Whoa! Goodbye. Rangan is confirmed killed. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. Damn. Well, that solved that problem. Now we just got to get the hell out of here. Nice and quickly. Is there a quick way out? <laughs> that one was funny, man. That was suited. Dun, 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 dun. I got. There's got to be a better way. Bum, ba, dum, bum, sorry, dude. I get. I guess I could go out the same way I came in. All right. Picture perfect. There should be more than that. We got no evidence. Hoist the flag. A few goodies in that last one. Excellent. So it was only a three star because we found that there were some bodies, but we got all the mission stories. So I think we're ready to check out the next. Uh... Oh, I've already been a, a level 11 mastery. That's surprised we're not any higher than that. Uh, anyway. Let us go and get the cutscene. These are all stuff we've already had. We just didn't loot them or we didn't m check them up yet. So lots of places to start now. According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. The 
you came home, I knew you would. You've come a long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Uh, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know, it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this, and we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject Six. Your name is Subject Six. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this mission. Chasing a ghost. Hope you enjoyed it. I actually liked that one. Although I got to say, out of all the opportunities, there weren't many like specific opportunities. There were two kills that we just had to knock dudes out with whatever. There was no unique kill. I was kind of surprised. But uh, either way, guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Hit that like button and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Facebook.com slash DanQ8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, DanQ8000. Instagram, DanQ8000. And Snapchat, DanQ8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, link in the description. If you want to save 10% off your next DX Racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code DanQ8000 at checkout. All right, guys. Thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's have things over to Noxel. Have a good one, guys. Yeah. I be running like a hitman. I be running like a hitman.